no opening statement, so if you guys just want to go ahead. Unless Devin's got one. <laughs> Yeah, well, I thought we started the second half the way we finished the first half. You know, we, we had that group. I think we had four freshmen out there and, and Allie or Alyssa, one of the two, um, that really sparked us, you know, and gave us the energy we needed to, you know, we just changed the way we played defensively, which cued our, you know, or keyed our offense, I thought. You know, and with, I felt like we started the game flat and, you know, I kind of hoped they'd miss maybe and hoped it'd be easy and it, of course it's not going to be easy. You know, this is a veteran team used to winning every game they play. Um, they were in a great game at Seattle U, you know, a week ago, um, you know, which is another Division One opponent and they, they were in double overtime in that one, down 10 in the second half, came back and win. This is a confident group um, and I didn't think we necessarily came out with the respect that this game demanded, you know, which makes me sad to be honest. <laughs> I mean, I, I, there's one way to play this game and it's if that everything you got. And I thought from about 10 minutes on um, in the first half that happened, you know, we became a kind of ourselves. So I thought the second half we started that way, you know, which was great to see. Was there something that clicked for you, Alyssa? I mean, you came in kind of on a little personal 7-0 run to start the second half. Uh, um, I don't know. Uh, I think, yeah, building off that, we did come out second half just kind of building off the momentum that we had finally gained at the end of the first half and um, we were able to just get out and run and um, I think I mean once you get a few layups it's easier to hit your outside shots and I mean we just carried with the momentum. How do you think their high pressure defense affected your guys' game in the first half? Do you feel it? Uh, I think we knew they would get up on us um, defensively, but that we could also drive by them and then that would lead to kickouts and um, the open shots. And I think once we kind of settled into the game, we were able to take advantage of that. Yeah, I thought they did a good job really helping in, you know, when we did beat, beat them off the dribble, you know, they, they got several steals off helping in on our posts, you know, and it took us a while to adapt to that. You know, we played a lot of young players today, a lot of minutes and, and um, you know, I thought we got more comfortable and saw it a little clearer as we went. Are you planning on, is that kind of the course you're going to take this season, do you think, is going with uh, some of the younger players? Hey, well, I'm going to go with who's going. <laughs> um, I mean, that's, that's the way we've, I've, I've always coached. It's what I believe who, the people that deserve to be on the floor are going to be on the, on the floor. And the people that are getting it done are going to be out there. You know, and I thought in the first half, you know, our bench did a great job. You know, they, they earned the minutes that they got, and that's the, way, that's, the, that, that's the way I think it should be, you know, with everybody. Not, there's no entitlement here. And, and so, um, you know, our starters have absolutely earned that right, and they will, you know, continue to be there until they're beat out. And if that happens, I don't know, you know. So um, I'm just happy that we have so many people contributing, uh, getting big minutes early. That allows us to be deeper uh, as the season goes forward. And I was really impressed by the effort our newcomers uh, gave today. Uh, it was really impressive, I thought. One thing that I noticed is not only did they, you know, there's several of them that played well, but um, even late into the game, um, making, you know, big plays late to, to keep Western Washington, yeah. you know, kind of holding them off when they were had an opportunity. I agree. I agree. You know, and I'm a coach that has had success with freshmen on the floor. and. Uh, I won't limit anybody. At this point, ever, you've played a lot of minutes, you've played a lot of basketball, and you've won a lot of games, and you know what it takes. And so if you're 18 years old, like I tell them every day, um, you know, I, I expect you to bring your A game and be a fast learner. We have uh, five outstanding you know, newcomers to our team this year, and that's what they are. They, are, they compete every day, and they, they deserve to be on the floor. You know? And so uh, Devin made some big plays down the stretch, got some huge rebounds for us. and, uh, and uh, you know, that to me, that was she was a big key to this game. That was your first collegiate game. I mean, it's uh, you're part of this group of heralded freshmen, and you got 12 rebounds today. Was it just a position thing or just an effort thing? How were you able to help the team that way? Um, I just really wanted to go out there and um, like try like bring some energy to the court because we were a little low. So I just wanted to bring some energy and go out there, and I thought I could do that with rebounding and. Um, leading the team was something I would like to do the rest of the season. Were there any butterflies in the <laughs> A little bit, <laughs> yeah.
Um, how did uh, Patricia got into some foul trouble early on in the game, mm -hmm. and Ali had a few in the first half? How did that affect substitutions and signing up for the team? Yeah, I mean, I, I typically won't play a player if they pick up their second foul in the first half. You know, I'll, I'll pull them out. We don't want to pick up the third for sure. And so that impacted Patricia in the first half, you know, and that gave Kiki some opportunity, you know, to play the five for us. And then it, it gave Ruth an opportunity, and Ruth was a big spark for us. You know, she came in right away, scored a couple baskets, and, you know, she's hard to move. You know, she really is. She's so strong and so physical, and she's picked up our system so quickly. You know, even though this is, I think, only her fifth year playing this game, you know, um, she's a sponge. And you tell her to stand here, she stands there, you know, and she's picked things up very well. Our team can count on where she is on the court. Uh, so they've been passing her the ball, I think, on time and very well, you know, and she sparked us. And so that certainly impacted the first half. Um, Patricia is out by far our best post defender, no question. Uh, they hurt us in the first half um, with some plays that had she been on the court, probably would not have been there. You know, they got a few layups that she pretty much just takes away by her presence out there. So I thought that impacted us, um, you know, for sure. But it was, like I said, a great experience, you know, for our other players and helps us with our depth down the road. You guys good? All right. Thank you guys. You bet. Thank you. Football lost. Did you that? They lost? Yeah. Oh. Oh.